So, you know, right now I'm doing a lot of very heavy lifting back in work for my company, trying to get us to a $300,000 to $500,000 a month level in 2023. And there's a lot of little moving pieces and it's very important, you know, I made a video previous to this one on the concept of first principles. You know, if you're going through a very complex season in your business, whether revenue's up or down, you know, a lot of the time business owners go through a lot of decisions and if you're going through a complex season, then you need to boil your decisions down to your first principles. And, you know, in today's video, I want to make a video on, you know, if you're stuck or your business isn't growing, probably why that is. And this is just based on the experience of having coached you know, over 400, um, you know, online coaches, um, service based businesses and everything helping build, I think like $12 million a year businesses now, probably more because some people, you know, they don't want to credit us with their success, which, hey ho, it's probably because they want to compete with us or something, uh, which is fine. Um, and probably like, gosh, coming up on over a hundred people doing six figures a year. I mean, we have countless results and you probably know that if you watch the channel, as you know, my name is Trey Gagram and my goal is to be your favorite YouTube channel for business, whether you buy my stuff or not. But at the end of the day, there's only so much I can do for you on YouTube. You have really a couple options. You can binge watch all of my content and do the best you can with what I give you for free on YouTube in these short 10 or 20 minute videos. Or you can book a call directly with myself and my team and let us build you a custom plan to help you scale your business over the next 90 days. Anyway, links in the description if you want to do that. So here's why your business probably isn't growing based on my experience. It's because you're not doing one of three things right now. You know, and every single one of these three things is equally as important as the other. And in my program, we call it the magic three and it's really quite easy to get distracted from these things because it's almost like, you know, it's, there's some part of our brain that wants business to be more complicated. We want it to be harder than it actually is. And I find myself getting here often as well because it's almost like I want, <laughs> sometimes I just want business to be a little bit harder. I, I know that sounds a little weird, but maybe, maybe you can resonate with that. Maybe you've grown to a certain level and it's almost like for some reason you just like the challenge of it, but business is actually extremely easy if you just follow these three things. And these things are getting consistent attention online with a single traffic channel, whether it's paid or organic, or it's referral, or it's you've got a podcast or YouTube channel, TikTok channel, you've got a book that consistently sells, whatever it is that you do there, just a consistent stream of attention. If that's not set up, work on that first. The next thing is you have a consistent means of turning that attention into opportunities to make offers, whether that's over a direct message conversation or a sales call, which is what we tend to teach. We tend to teach you know, a 30 to 60 minute one-to-one uh, -one over Zoom. That's how our students really succeed. So you got attention, making offers, and then the final one is actually fulfilling on those offers that you make. And it's that simple. And people overcomplicate it like crazy. Now, of course, in some cases, it's easier said than done. But to be honest, most people make it way more complicated than it has to be, you know. Just ask yourself, am I getting consistent attention? Am I getting at least 100 to 200 people looking at my stuff every single day, minimum? And I've found generally that anywhere from 2 to 4% of your audience should take that leap and take the initiative to initiate that conversation with you about your service. And of that 2 to 4%, once they're on the phone, about 25 to 40% should move forward and actually buy your thing. And so if your business is stuck right now, first take a look at your attention source. If that's there, make sure that you're giving that group of people a very clear line, a clear next step to initiate a relationship with you. If you're not doing that, start doing that today. And then make sure that when you're talking to those prospects that your offer actually solves a core problem, it has a competitive edge against the other people in your market, and you have great guarantees. For example, our guarantee is a literal 100% full money back promise if you do the work that we're telling you to do and you don't get results. All we ask is for a little bit of feedback on your way out so we can improve our services. And then the final thing, you know, offers fulfilled on is actually making sure that once you make a promise, you can fulfill that promise swiftly, promptly, without, you know, complexities and without, you know, making the client question their investment within the first 24 hours. Have a good first impression, have a good lasting impression, and actually get the student or client great results as a byproduct of their enrollment into your course, your coaching program, or your services. And a lot of the time, you know, people are stuck because they've forgotten one of these three pillars. It's so easy to do complex work and because it feels complex it feels productive right it's almost like because there's a lot of moving pieces or because you're doing a lot of work you almost feel productive but if the work you're doing doesn't fall into one of those three categories then the work just doesn't matter and now i gotta say that the deeper you can dig into one of these sources you know for example like if you take five years and you build up a youtube channel amazing 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 asset that's going to solve your attention problem for years to come right or if you spend a year filming, editing, curating incredible course content for your students, that's gonna be a massive competitive edge as well. So I'm not saying to just bang these out as quickly as possible and just, you know, kind of do shallow work in each of them. I'm telling you to do deep work in every single one of these. So I highly recommend the book uh, Deep Work by Cal Newport. 
really recommend it, and I recommend you apply the principles in that book to each of these three sectors of your business. So just to give you a visual and something that you can take home from this video, I'm gonna call this the magic three. This is what we call it actually in our programs and everything, this is how we reference it. It's getting opportunity to have conversations with potential prospects, potentially and most efficiently in the form of high quality content or advertising. And the next stage is actually making offers to that group of people. Very simple, make sure you have a good guarantee, make sure you speak to the pain points of your market, make sure you have a good competitive edge, a point of difference that makes you better than the other options, and what I call a QER, which is a quantifiable end result that you're promising as a byproduct of their investment. You know, a lot of people, they have a good offer, but they don't actually have an end that the offer is associated with, right? For our beginner students, our promise is to get you to $100,000 a year in profit if you do the work. For students of ours that are doing $100,000 or more in their business already, we promise to at least minimum 3x your revenue. And for our students that are aiming to get to a million dollars a year or more, we can guarantee that you can get there so long as you let us help you solve your leadership challenges, your product market fit challenges, and some of these major themes in your business. So there's a very quantifiable end. And you can look at my student Liz, for example. She's actually a coach that helps young engineer types find a uh, job in the IT field, specifically engineering and robotics. You know, she's got a $7,000 package and one of the guarantees of that package is that she will help them land a job. And she does this by helping them, you know, reformat their resumes, change their interview approach style. She understands the industry and what these companies are looking for and everything, but she only guarantees that they will get that job if they do the work and they meet specific qualifications. And then the final pillar is to actually deliver on the promises that you're making right here. So make sure you have a good customer success timeline, a CST, which is what we call it in the industry here, was kind of a term that I coined, that moves somebody from point A to point B seamlessly with a series of steps that they can follow very rapidly so that they can get to that end. And this is where your expertise has to come into play. You know, one of our students is a photography coach and he helps people, you know, build photography businesses, kind of like I used to when I was first getting started. And he built his CST, built a series of steps that somebody has to initiate. And once he had that CST in place, his delivery went through the roof. It's pretty incredible to me how many people don't actually think through their student success timeline and they just work with their students kind of haphazardly and they hope for the best. So if your business is stalled right now and you're not growing, it's because you're not doing one of these three things. Fix it right now spend 90 days fixing it, it, whether it's all of them or one of them, go all in, fix it today, right now, as a byproduct of watching this video. And if you start to see a little bit of extra results, come back, book a call with us, and let us help you grow further. You know, I'm on a mission to help 100 people reach a million dollars a year in their coaching businesses online because I want to help reform the education system and sort of how people are learning in the modern era. And I believe online coaches are some of the best chance that we have at helping people achieve a higher education in a legitimate way. You know, right now, even a lot of colleges are becoming, you know, tax, you know, payer funded, they're being bailed out and everything. And then a lot of these private colleges have immense biases, both politically and socioeconomically, that I just don't think individual online coaches have at scale. But that's just my opinion. That's why I do what I do. And that's why I think you should work extremely hard to grow this business because I don't just think that it's profitable for you. I also think it's extremely positive would be the right word for the world at large. So go do the work and then come back, book a call with us and let us help you. Either way it goes, even if you don't buy my stuff, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this gave you some clarity as to why you're not growing right now. And I'll see you in the next video.